Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Family Home Kitchen. Ever tried your hand at making Bolognese spaghetti at home? Originating from the culinary heart of Italy, Bolognese spaghetti is a classic dish known and loved worldwide. Its rich, hearty sauce is a symphony of flavors, melding together ingredients like finely chopped onions, minced beef, garlic, and a robust tomato sauce. Olive oil, Italian seasoning, and a sprinkle of salt and pepper provide the finishing touches. And let's not forget the star of the show, perfectly cooked spaghetti. By the end of this video, you'll be able to prepare this classic dish in your own kitchen. Here's what you'll need for a serving for two. First up, you'll need 250 grams of spaghetti, the bedrock of our dish providing that comforting, hearty base we all know and love. Next, we have one medium-sized onion and two cloves of garlic, both finely chopped. These are our aromatic foundation that infuses our dish with a depth of flavor. For the protein, you'll need 250 grams of minced beef, which brings that rich meaty taste to our Bolognese sauce. A can of tomato sauce comes next, offering a vibrant tang and a beautiful color. Two tablespoons of olive oil, the cooking medium also adds a subtle fruity note. Seasonings are key in any dish. Here we have salt and black pepper to taste, and a teaspoon of Italian seasoning to bring that authentic Italian flair. Finally, optional but highly recommended grated Parmesan cheese for serving, adding a creamy, salty finish. Now that we have our ingredients, we're ready to start cooking. First things first, the spaghetti. Now there's an art to cooking spaghetti that goes beyond just boiling water. You see, the secret is in the salt. Salting the water is a crucial step that infuses the pasta with flavor from the inside out. So don't be shy with the salt, sprinkle a generous amount into the boiling water. Next, it's time to introduce the spaghetti to the pot. Now remember, each brand of pasta cooks differently, so it's essential to follow the package instructions for the best results. The goal is to cook it until it's al dente, that's Italian for to the tooth. It means the pasta should be tender but still firm when bitten. A good tip is to reserve some of the pasta water. This starchy liquid can be a lifesaver later on if your sauce needs a bit of thinning. Once your spaghetti is al dente, it's time to move on to the sauce. Now, let's get that sauce simmering. We're starting with the sole of the Bolognese, onions and garlic. In a large pan, heat up a good glug of olive oil over medium heat. Saute the finely chopped onions and minced garlic until they're soft and translucent, their aromas wafting through your kitchen. Once they've softened, it's time for the star of the show, the minced beef. Add it to your pan, breaking it up with a fork as it browns. You want to avoid large chunks, aiming for a fine, even mince. Cook until it's beautifully browned and fully cooked through. Next, pour in your tomato sauce, bringing a vibrant red hue to your pan. Here's where the magic happens. Add your Italian spice, a pinch of salt, and a grind or two of black pepper to taste. Stir everything together, making sure the beef is well coated in the sauce and spices. Now reduce your heat to low and let your sauce simmer. This isn't a rush job, it needs about 10 to 15 minutes for the flavors to meld together, creating a rich, hearty Bolognese sauce that's packed with flavor. You'll know it's ready when the sauce has thickened slightly and the aroma is so irresistible, you can't wait another second to dig in. When your sauce is rich and flavorful, it's time to bring it all together. Now for the final step, marrying the spaghetti and the Bolognese sauce. Once your spaghetti is cooked to your liking, it's time to introduce it to the sauce. This union is crucial, as it allows the pasta to soak up the rich, hearty flavors of the Bolognese. Don't be shy, plunge your spaghetti straight into the sauce. Then, using a pair of tongs or a large spoon, gently toss the spaghetti, ensuring every strand is generously coated with the sauce. If you find your sauce is a bit too thick, remember that pasta cooking water you saved? Drizzle in a little to loosen things up. The starchy water will help bind the sauce to the pasta even more. Continue this dance until you have a beautifully glossy, saucy spaghetti. And there you have it, a delicious Bolognese spaghetti right from your own kitchen. Congratulations, you've just made Bolognese spaghetti. With a simple combination of spaghetti and a hearty Bolognese sauce, you've whipped up an Italian classic right in your home kitchen. Remember, the key is in layering the flavors, from the sautéed onions and garlic to the well-seasoned minced beef, and finally the tangy tomato sauce. So go ahead, try this recipe at home and let us know how it turns out. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more easy, delicious recipes. Happy cooking. Happy. If you liked the video, 
do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button for all new updates in the world of cooking.